Audio One Monster here, back in action for more uh, Final Fantasy IV, the After Years attraction. That's right, it's a big old mouthful each and every time I say it. I don't know why I keep saying each and every time, but that's what happens when you play a game that has a very long title. Try to rhyme it. It's not fun. <laughs> oh, still does, still, 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 still. It's been quite a thing. It really, really has. Just going through this waterways and whatnots and just, uh, I don't like these things. They keep showing up. Stop it. I just know I missed like some beasties that are just like randomly like a low spawn rate at this like one little area for like two people and I have no idea where they're at in their tails, and I'm never going to be able to get the beastery achievement. I'm actually just not a big fan of those types of achievements. I don't mean it in like a way that like I don't like achievements that are about completion sake, but like to me, I think the best thing that you could do for a completionist situation is that you make the achievements achievable when you're closer to getting a hundred percent so there should be one that says like if you get a hundred percent on this uh that's the achievement and then all the achievements sequentially will be like get like 75 percent of this or get 75 percent of that you basically wanted to make it so the closer and closer you get towards something um, the closer you are to finishing all the achievements. And I just, I don't like how a majority of games aren't like that. It, to me, it's a missed opportunity to make your player base play more. Like, if you're telling me that, like, Spider-Man has to find all the, the things, and not, like, 90% of the, the ways, waypoints, I feel like it's a disservice to what could be the case of, like, a cool thing you would do to, like, make gamers play your game more. And, like, when you put it to where, like, oh, I need to 100% this thing, and then I get the 100% thing, and then this, it's like, oh, there's, like, extra steps attached to it. I don't want to go do it because it takes so long to get everything in the beast tree. And then I also have to get all the items that I could get, and then I also have to, like, use all the items that I gotta get, and da 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 it just gets to a point where it doesn't feel good, and it feels like a grindy set. So at the very least, for like grind sets like that in RPGs and whatnot, I definitely feel they could do it better. Um, I know I actually platinumed Dragon Quest XI, and that's because Dragon Quest is actually really good with its uh, leveling up system and the way that it does its beastery. Where it's never like a big prominent thing that you need to do it's always something that like oh this is a pretty cool thing that you could get this is kind of as far as it really goes down uh which i'm really thankful for and especially with the way that dragon quest 11 did it i just oh god i love dragon quest 11 so much it is such a fascinating game in the sense that like it's effectively three different games in one but it's not and it's just like it works really well as it has its own little thing where it beat it and then you have the post game which is its own type of game and like technically speaking act one and act two just are separate games they just are like you're playing through the game again with better knowledge but it's like things have changed and it's just really really cool but yeah <laughs> I just kind of wish more post games had it had it to where um, Dragon Quest XI had it because I don't think there's there's a post game in Final Fantasy that's like that. To be to be honest, because like kind of not uh, Tales of doesn't really have that either. But Tales of always has a very prominent uh, post game stuff where like one it's really hard. The post game stuff in uh, Tales of is hard to actually too. I see sunlight. 
We aren't through this yet. Watch yourself. Right! The last card. For the room for me, didn't you? Nice to see a show of courtesy from you. Mm-hmm. Will you continue this act of kindness and hand over the fire crystal? Is that what you're really after? Not the main thrust of my business, but yes. So what are you really after? I'm going to kill Cecil. Have you seen him yet? Not yet. That's why I'm here. I see. Sadly, I'm afraid I can't let you have my crystal. Even if it costs your life? That's right. Let me put you out of your misery. Kane, stop! Rosa? So she was here all along. Everybody just meeting up there, huh? We should probably go ahead and rest. Because we need that sweet, sweet MP. Because if we don't have that MP, those tortoises become real hard to deal with. I don't like that idea. No, sir. Once again, back at it. Getting the crisp crown. Whatever. The gnomish bread. Nothing! Really? Huh? I guess we just go down here? A dead end! You got the guts to jump in? What from here? This is the only path we have. So what are you going to do? Well, I guess that just ends it here. Well, I'll see y'all later, everybody. Thank you for, for coming on in. <laughs> All right. This time we actually do have the guts. Of, of course. Time to see what you're really made of. Yes, sir! Whee! Falling down a waterfall? No big D. Pretty sure I could do that easy. Rosa. Kane? Her mind hasn't been. No, I'm acting on my own violation. Really? Yes, once I kill Cecil, it'll be mine, Rosa. Dude! Kane! Kane? Buddy? She fucks Cecil! They have a child together, motherfucker! She's not into you! You are, in fact, the cuck in the situation. I'm sorry to say. Why are you trying to get together with her like you're an evil stepdad in a fucking Home Alone film? Here they come. But where is his assistant? She is not there. That makes me believe. Sadly, time's up. Give me the final crystal. 
I believe I've already made myself clear. What? I refuse. I were to open a small box. Oh. Oh. Oh damn! You don't play! Edward was such a spoony bard in the first one, and this one he's just like, nah, motherfucker, here I come! What the hell, dude? What happened to him? Carlene, signet. Souvenir from Baron. All the better for me. Are we going? Why isn't Rosa helping? Okay, so the, it is a 2v1 situation. Jump. Jump, jump, slide, slide. What is he gonna do? That doesn't... Uh, Kane, stop this! I'm gonna still jump! Might as well! That is nothing. That's nothing to us. We are ultimate badass fucking Kane McLean, dude! Let's go! Kane! Sorry, but I gotta be jumping. Well <laughs> Each and every time. You wanna keep going like this, my dude? You miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. And thus, Edward kissed that lance like nobody's business with that critical hit. I feel like Rosa was kind of a bitch at this. Why didn't you heal Edward? So this is what you really want. Edward! Ah, oh, that's it. That's exactly it. Don't you think? My goodness, game. It's no holds barred situation, right? We got two down there. It looks like a musical note. Or a whale's tail. Another fave label. There's a bit of a confection that I have to make here, everybody. And I know it's a little bit odd to confess it here. But I feel like if I don't now, it's gonna come out eventually. I really want to visit an island. I really like islands a lot, and I think it'd be really cool to visit, like, one of the islands off the coast of California, like Catalina or other, or the place that they, they filmed Gilligan's Island. I think it'd be really fun! I really like that idea of, like, go visiting a small island. And, like, it's so wild to me because, like, small islands are still pretty freaking huge. Like, they have their own little population and everything. I just think that's, like, the most Nito Toledo situation out there. Just, like, I love small things like that. And, like, I, I have talked to a really pretty girl uh, that was, like, over in, like, the Canadian uh, areas up north so it was really cool and the idea of like the geography of where they are at and everything but my goodness this girl just how do i put it she was too obsessed with two things her weight and the way that she loved dead by daylight and like 
that's mostly fine. I'm glad that she had a lot of positivity for her, um, uh, overweightness. It's not something that I could pull off, honestly. I am overweight, and I, I do not get the appeal of chubby girls the way that other people would. But, like, I do think that, like, to a degree, at the very least, I am attractive as chubby. Like, to that, like, chubby chasers like me type situation. Not in the sense that I think I'm universally cute or anything, just in the sense that, like, I am someone's type, and I understand that. Um, regardless of the situation, uh, the way that she talked and the way that she did things is that she would just consistently talk about this situation, about how she was big and all this and that. And it was to the point where it was a bit detrimental to our conversations, and it would consistently lead back to two of those things, where it's dead by daylight, how she wants to fuck the monsters, which is fine, honestly, um, to the degree that, like, I understand the appeal of it, but I'm not exactly, like, in your decision of, like, I would do this too. I'm more of a... I, I don't think of monsters in that big way. Ah, oh, yeah, dude! Am I seriously just stuck doing this? Are you for real? I hate these little stupid little gimme areas. Regardless, I really wanted to make it work, but she honestly was- it was just talking to a brick wall where she just talked about wanting to eat food, how she was big, and then her thing about Dead by Daylight, just really liking it, and just- it was so wild to me, because like, I don't have any actual animosity towards this girl, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I did not like talking to her, and to me- Finding out that, like, I really need to have a conversation with somebody, at least to the point where, like, we could talk about more than just two things, is really important to me. And that's something that I found out a while ago. And it really sucked, too, because, like, like I said before, she lived on an island off the coast of Canada. And it was really neat, because, like, that set of islands I've never really seen before in a formation and whatnot. It was kind of like how Singapore is, like, a bunch of islands. I think there's like 2,000 islands that Singapore's consist of. It's some crazy ass number that you wouldn't think there are that many islands of, but yeah, it's it's just that. It's it's just specifically that situation that like gets at me. Where I'm like, man, it would have been cool to go visit, right? Like, to have a girl that was like really cute and like just be able to like visit her little like island town and have fun little adventures. And like, I've lived in Hawaii before. Hawaii is a really good state. I love the bejeebus out of it. Fuck off, crocodiles. Why is the door always just like in the damn ass water, dude? Fuck, why is it two hits? Fuck off. Dude, look, it's two hits. How is that fair? Oh my god! One, and then two, he might kill me! What was that shit? Game, what the- what was that shit? I'm not doing anything that would make it so it's- it's impossibly there for me, you know? It's me off. Where was the other item? There was two of them here. Oh, how did I miss that? Well, we need to get, like, more things, so... We should get that. But yes, yes. It's just a sad revelation of things. I'm just like, man, that would have been really cool. Even something like England, the UK, would be fun to go visit, because, like, I like the geography of the UK. I don't understand it. There's something weird in my brain that's like, you have to go to the UK. It's like a, a turtle that has to go mating at this one Pacific beach and they go fuck at the beach 
and lay their eggs and like this is good and then all the people in Mexico gather around and see that there's turtles there like that's pretty cool and then some of them that were in Mexico at the time were like I'm gonna be evil and start eating turtle soup and I'm like no why is the shredder there and the shredder was just like blah ha 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 and I'm like no this really happened and then everybody clapped he was insane insanity Insanity, really. Crash Bandicoot was there. He did nothing. <laughs> Not for real, though. I love Crash Bandicoot. There's an exit behind the waterfall. It's the door. Wait. Yes, we are getting through without a fight. Here it comes! It's a boss fight! And like the correct boss fight! Everybody knows this song! I don't even know why I like to ruin it. <laughs> it just makes me want to sing each time. I'm sorry. It's 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 a disease that I have. That I have to sing a song that I really like, but I'm really off key song. It's it's a curse, really. Honestly, truly. Oh, yeah. Why are you dead? Bro, why are you dead? Stop being dead, dude, I swear. You're being cringe, dude. Ah, oh, you bitch ass. Please, Kara now. Kara me, Kara you. I don't need this. We're gonna try to just like finish him off because like holy shit dude. This shit suck! How much? 3,000. So we're doing pretty solid damage, right? But like we're also dying. That's not great. Please do not! Thank you. Please, I need to fuck. No, oh, you bitch ass! Motherfucker! It's good that he got the high potion, but fuck, dude, fuck! Fuck! Oh, why is this boss so insanely hard? Why is it always hard with this shit? I don't understand why it's so hard! Please, slow the fuck down! No effect. That's fine. If the other ones are slow- Ah, you bitch! Okay. Item. High potion because this motherfucker is almost dead. Again. And then we have to get the other stuff going on there. Please. Phoenix down. There you go. Will not be the death of me, I swear. Oh, high potion, please. Bruh, please. Thank you! We got it! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck off, dude. Shit. Yeah, we only get the one. Wait, no, we had other ones. I just saw them right here. Oh. How much HP could he possibly have? More, more than 9,000? Well, that didn't exactly. Oh, thank goodness. It's too much, dude. It's too much. Very live that. 
Our days were numbered, honestly. Ugh, that's serious. That was intense. This is how violent the monsters are getting. But we must fear the worst. Yeah, honestly. Hey. Whoa, whoa. It's doing it. Oh! We were just a fridge too far, huh? A fridge too far. Metal! Baron airship? Too late! My work in Dim Scene, it's done. Farewell. Kane, you must stop this madness. Huh? Oh. What is this? What's happening? Oh, Sid! Sid's airship! Haha! <laughs> Just in time! The Enterprise ain't no spring chicken, but she still got some kick. Just like me, you know? Sid! You just won't die, will you? Nothing matters now. Rosa is already in my hands. Whee! It's the Enterprise! Sid? Let's go to the door. Yeah. Okay. And by go, he means obviously to use the tent. That's what we're doing. Tent time, baby. Everyone's favorite. And then we just do a little save in case anything super duperty bad happens. We just take this? No, we cannot take it. We had to go to a cutscene. Let's go talk to the losers over there. That lost things. Actually, I should probably get some items if I am here. That would be the ideal thing to do. Hold us the door. We need to head to the throne room. Right! Okay. Well, they had a little cutscene to just kind of derail you into a thing. Just a fun little thing. It's fine. Sid! Oh, Sador, you're alive and in one piece. Thank the gods above. Mother! Where's Mother? I'm sorry, Sador. Ah, uh, it's not your fault. I should have stayed with her. What happened to her? 
She's been taken away. Sidor. Kane took her. What? Wait up, who's this guy? Talk later. To the Enterprise. Now. Do we have them as, as our teammates now? Please tell me. Kane, why? <laughs> I reserved a front row seat for you, Rose. Now watch as Cecil dies right before your eyes. That's what gets women hot, honestly. Seeing my lover die by the hands of someone that wants me? Ooh. Nothing gets me wet. Pain. I've heard so many stories about Kane and his brave deeds. Is this who he turns out to be? Huh. Don't worry, Sidor. I doubt he'd ever lay a hand on Rose. Cecil, on the other hand. My father? Faster! We need to go faster! What the heck is going on here, anyway? Come, Rosa. It's time for the main event. You'll see him walk right up to, uh, you'll see me walk right up to him. And tear him apart limb from limb. Look at him, he's so happy! He's so happy! Whoever heard of a sad game? Bro! Well, next time, everybody, let's go ahead to take down Cecil's head. Until then, though, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you can, and I shall see you all later, okay? Till then, sayonara. Bye-bye!